What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Cryptechology. Yeah, you're right. Another video already. It hasn't been a week yet. I know. I told y'all I was going to be a little bit more consistent with putting out videos pertaining to blockchain, what I'm doing, and how you can level up with the crypto ecosystem, the new era, the technology era has changed to the era of the chain the people of the chain the blockchain web 3 crypto you heard it you heard it here first or last i don't really give a fuck it doesn't matter but what matters is that you leave these video with some knowledge to level up okay i don't want you walking away brokenhearted and upset that you wasted time listening to my video and you didn't get any game from it so what are we going to talk about today we're going to talk about another blockchain opportunity for you to level up you see i've been mining and supporting the handshake uh blockchain for about a year now and also participated in the um conference they had um last year or i uh, was a handy con 2021 or so like really amazing community some fantastic developers some really intelligent individuals they're working on something to really decentralize blockchain and cryptocurrency okay so what does this even mean first and foremost like the video and hit subscribe it's free i'm trying to get this channel to 5,000 subscribers and i need your help I need to get my um, watch hours up to, so help me out. Watch the video. Keep it on mute in the background if you don't want to listen to the whole thing. I really could use your support. Help me reach a level that people can actually um, gain some information. Like, seriously, there's a lot of videos that I've put out that have some great gems, some good content in there. And we're going to make that a little bit more concise. We're going to make this um more intentional okay we're gonna do this more focus each video will be about one topic i'll no longer go on rants i know i'll try to make the structure so you can really walk away with some game and level up why because look there's a really good opportunity i've been in the technology industry my entire life see my first step into technology was when i hacked the sony playstation one i put a chip in it and i would make um basically games i would rent video games bring it home make a copy make my own version of it and then return the video game and i had a brand new game for like three dollars i didn't sell any of the games but the thing was i understand technology and i've been part of technology my entire life and you're wondering what the fuck dude you probably could have been making buku money you could have been the next mark zuckerberg you could have been whatever and i know i didn't pursue that lifestyle super heavy at that time my parents didn't know how to handle the intelligence no one really understood what to do and yeah so that's why i'm here to help y'all because look if i had that mentor or and, and that guide that really could have just you know man just it is what it is but i want to at least do that for the next community the next generation coming up you know let me at least help you find your own passion story figure out where you want to excel figure out what you're good at figure out what direction you want to go in and not just figure out the direction you want to go in but how to go about it what type of resources you're going to need uh, what information you should listen to um, and what information you should ignore uh, what skill sets you should gain first and which ones you should put on put out put off till later all of these different things affects your ability to obtain your end goal so you can have two people that have the same goal this the the same drive the same ambition all of that and one of them get to the end goal and um, achieve that level whatever level it is that they want achieve that goal and then the same and another person never get there and then so you ask what happens what's the difference 
you know, oh, well, this person started here and that person started behind. This person had advantages. This person didn't. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. None of that has to do with it. Yeah. Are there fucking obstacles to make your path more difficult? Absolutely. fucking lutely Absolutely. All right. Just so just get it out the way. Don't even think about it. Who cares? Look at it from this perspective. If you have challenges and you still get to the end goal, bro, yo, you're just that much better, okay? You're just that much better. And another thing about it is look at those challenges as early opportunities to showcase your skill set, to showcase your knowledge, to showcase your abilities, all right? Look at those challenges as an opportunity to showcase your intelligence, to showcase your ability to multitask, to come up to a solution, to become reliable, all right? Showcase. Use those fucking obstacles, those struggles, those challenges as an opportunity to win. And yeah, maybe there's some small tedious tasks and obstacles that you don't want to deal with and you don't like and you're just like, everybody doesn't have to deal with this. Only certain people need to deal with this. So da 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 da. No one fucking cares, okay? Get it out of your head. No one fucking cares. No one cares. Okay? I'm sorry to be harsh. All right? But I'm trying to prepare you for the fucking world. I'm trying to prepare you for the real world. I'm trying to get you ready, mentally ready and focused. The internet and social media and fucking all this shit has has the world confused. It has all of you guys fucking confused, as all of you guys focus on the wrong fucking things uh, and, and just going about life ungrateful and just like not willing, not, not, not seeing the silver lining, just not seeing the silver lining. And then on top of it, you know, getting totally taken advantage of and manipulated and persuaded by advertisement dollars, Okay. They spend a lot of money making sure social media does exactly what it's supposed to do. All right, now, and, and before, I, and it's funny, I know I say this and I love blockchain. I'm, you know, tech geek, engineer, like I get it. And you're like, how are, are you, you do this for a career and yet you're, you're trying to tell me to stay away from tech. I'm not trying to tell you to stay away from it. I'm just trying to let you know that there's a strategy behind everything and they're using your own data and your own drive your own dreams your own energy against you okay and i just want you to know this stuff i want you to be aware of it so you can strategize so then you can use it to your advantage because you still need to participate within the game if you want to fucking win the game all right so if you want to win the game then you're going to need to know the rules of the game all right and then you also need to know how the game was created, why it was created, and how the game makes money. You always have to ask the question, how is revenue built? How is money being built? What is money doing? Follow the money, all right? Not the person behind the money, just fucking the money, okay? Because wealthy people look at the dollar bill as a fucking employee, all right? So it's not the person. Follow the money is not just following the person. It's literally following the money because the money is the fuck is the employee the money is being put to work for that individual all right so you want to follow the money you want to see where it's going and you want to see what they're doing with it and how they're using it to level up all right but look i'm just gonna leave you just with this one thing and i want everybody to really fucking think about this okay so you have technology technology the, the most amazing thing in the world Okay, smartphones, amazing thing in the world has really helped people to 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 advance. All right. has really created opportunities for a lot of individuals, but also at the same time has also made the world extremely fucking lazy. Okay, you see, I looked at the future in a way that technology would be here to enhance me, not replace me. I'm going to say it one more time. I dreamt of a future that technology would enhance me, not replace me. Technology would be, be there to make me stronger, smarter, faster. Better memory. Better strength. Okay? 
that's what I thought of technology. Never thought about technology replacing a human so I don't have to do anything. I'm not that fucking lazy. I don't want to not do anything. I like doing stuff. All right? Your 9 to 5. Enjoy your 9 to 5. Don't take it for granted. Okay? Oh, man. I'm looking at my email. My inbox is always filled. I'm always so busy. Da, 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 da. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, shut up. The one thing about a 9 to 5 entrepreneurs, business leaders, all my high performance people out there, even some of the betas out there, all right, that's not full alpha alpha yet. And for the omegas that would like to become alpha, but you very know very well that you're probably not going to become fucking alpha because you don't want to put in the work, but you still can become alpha if you actually fucking did it. So to all of those people, stop looking for the fucking end of the list. Stop looking at your inbox so it could be fucking empty. Stop trying to get quote unquote caught up. You're not supposed to be caught up as a leader, okay? You're never supposed to be caught up. If you're caught up, that means you have reached your limitations. That means there's no more work coming down the pipeline. There's no more dollars. Look at your look at that inbox. Look at those lists of those tasks, those opportunities, and look at it as a fucking dollar sign and security. That is dollar sign and security that you have an opportunity to shine and showcase your KSAs, your knowledge, skills, and abilities, okay? That's what your fucking inbox is for. That's what your phone is for. That's what social media is for. That's what these tools is supposed to fucking do. Showcase your KSAs, your knowledge, skills, and abilities. Utilize your fucking inbox as a way to showcase your ksas your knowledge skills and abilities you never want to be at the end of your list then that means you have reached the limitations and there's no more work coming in so what does that mean you need to go out and fucking get some more revenue and build some uh, and get some more margin out there create some additional cash flow you need more work coming in if you continuously get to the end of your list quickly all right you're not supposed to be, uh, uh, you're not supposed to complete your list as a leader. So stop doing that. You're creating, um, uh, uh, um, you're creating anxiety and an unnecessary stress in your body for no reason. The, the entire point for you to be a leader is to handle the, 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 the multiple things coming in. All right. So it's okay. It's okay that you're not caught up. You're not supposed to be caught up. What you're supposed to focus on as a leader is simple. It's just completing each task as quickly and as efficiently as possible. The rest of the work that you cannot put your own time in it is then to figure out the best way to delegate that to your next fucking a player all right allow yourself the ability to shine delegate so then you can allow the other people around you to shine when you allow the other people around you to shine they will fucking bat and go to war for you and when they go bat and they go to war for you then they're fucking talking about you when you're not in the room and i'm talking about the good conversations when you're not in the room all right not talking shit behind your back conversations i'm talking about the good shit the good conversations when you're not in the room. They're representing you when you're not in the room. They're representing your KSAs when you're not in the room. Your knowledge, skills, and abilities, okay? That's what's happening. And the only way that any person will bat for you is if you give them the ability to fucking shine too. So use your opportunity. And if you're at a situation where you have multiple tasks and you can't get to all of them, that is fucking phenomenal. That means, boom, you got another opportunity to show your, to showcase your ability to manage a team, to find, uh, uh, to, to find the, the best individuals at the team. And if you delegate the task correctly to the right individuals, because we know certain people just don't, aren't well doing certain tasks. And that's cool. And as a leader, it is your job to know that. Stop expecting fucking people to act like robots because they're fucking not. Stop putting everybody on the same pedestal because they're fucking not.
All right? This, let's just, just be realistic. The goal as a leader is that any entrepreneur, uh, to any business, doesn't matter, any entity, this fuck corporation, doesn't matter. The end goal is to make sure the machine is working properly and the pri and the task correlated to make to to the machine working efficiently is priority over everything everything it is not your job to train a new person coming in say another manager all right, or executive level, another individual, team lead, it is not your job to train them. Now, I'm not saying you don't help them out, but it is not your job to train them because that is not priority to make sure the machine runs. It is an expectation that that individual has the KSAs, knowledge, skills, and abilities to complete the fucking duties of the position when they come in all right it is up to that individual to figure out what they need to do to make sure they can complete the fucking task so the machine can run efficiently so of course people that are wasting time trying to appease everybody and not the machine you're just you 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 you're you're confused you, you're like you're not thinking about the 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 high level picture. I know a lot of people are not going to like all of this that I just said. And I don't give a fuck and I don't care. But this 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 is these are the 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 the, the things that high performance business leaders are doing. Successful companies are doing. All right. Ownership, ownership of decision making and choice and confidence. When you're communicating with customers, ownership of choice and confidence. You want to give off the impression, perception that. Look, when you work with me, you can rely on me to take ownership of decision-making processes. So what is one way you can practice at that right now? Every time you look at something, make a choice about it. Oh, you're walking down the hallway in your house and you see something on the ground. Make a fucking choice about it. Look at it. Like literally make a choice. I don't care what the choice is, but just make a choice. If you choose to leave the item there, that's fine. Commit to that and say that to yourself. I'm choosing to leave this item here. You're making a choice. You're not staying in limbo. All right. Everything you see, everything you look at, just make a fucking choice. Start practicing at making decisions and being content with the decision you make okay even if it's something like oh i'm not you know i need more time to learn about such and such topic so i can make a better choice that's okay that's a fucking decision when you make a decision it is easier to come up with the plan you see the reason why a lot of people have issues with coming up with a plan is because they haven't done the step one, which is to make a decision. You need to make a decision on whatever it is that you're working on. So then once the decision's in place, now you need to know what steps you need to take to implement that decision, all right? And to follow through, follow up. Blockchain is an opportunity right now for everybody to level up. And it doesn't matter what industry you're in. But one of the ways that you can level up with blockchain, all right, is with crypto mining. So I mine Handshake. So what is Handshake doing? What's this project about? Well, they're helping to build out the decentralized fucking naming system, DNS, domain name systems, top level domains. 
all right actual websites so the websites you go to right now they're not truly decentralized the dApps you interact with right now are not truly decentralized i can't can sit there come and just shut shit down and then the website's done unless they're utilizing like ipfs but you gotta be careful because a lot of these projects are using aws okay they're using amazon web services the cloud infrastructure to fucking host their their top their their, their dom blah, 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 the domains so if fucking some shit happens to, to aws you're not fucking you're not decentralized you're not fully decentralized there's this whole fucking argument about oh this is centralized it's decentralized da, 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 da. yo the whole most of fucking projects out here are not decentralized from the step one that the top level fucking domain their domain for their website or their the, the, their dap that it, they're using right now is not even fucking on a decentralized website it's not even on a decentralized domain name so it can be shut down Decentralization is about opportunity and lowering the barrier of entry, getting rid of the gatekeeper. Okay? The in the increase of leadership, not the rid of leadership. That's not what decentralization is about. Removing leaders. No, it's increasing the 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 number of leaders. It's more leaders in decentralization, not less. Stop looking at projects and sitting there saying, oh, there's one fucking group of people and da 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 is centralized, blah, 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 blah. No, yo. Are, can you interact with that community? Can you start working on the project with them? Can you get rewarded for the work you have done on the project through fucking, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, um... Oh my goodness. Um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Bounties? Through bounties? Okay? Or freelance gigs? Okay? A lot of people were talking about Helium saying that was centralized. Okay? Because da 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 da. I, there are no gatekeepers for you to start building out an IoT network and start mining HNT. What are you guys talking about, man? You feel like a lot of people are just like looking at this in like the totally like, I don't know, wrong. I don't even want to say wrong. I don't even like saying that word, but it's just like there there's just more opportunity than you think. All right. And there's other places to look at when it comes to Web3. We had a, a new stage, a new transition, and there's opportunity like crazy. All right. 19 million dollars worth of mining proof of work i've done for ethereum you think that money will just disappear once ethereum goes straight pos proof of stake after the merger and then there's gonna be no more mining capabilities gpu mining capabilities come on y'all they don't even make sense like really think about that you really think Somebody else is not sitting there waiting for that fucking merger to go through so they can be like, hey, come over here. We can use your assistance at verifying the transactions on our blockchain and creating another decentralized fucking community. Yo, look, Handshake has done some amazing things, all right? You can buy domains, okay? You buy domains, all right? And you own these domain names. I'm going to show you a few of them. And you can auction these names too. But not only auction them, and then like you can, you can own them, all right? You own the domains, and you own your part of the internet. And that's what's really cool about this, all right? So you can go like domain search, and then you can just like start searching one. Or just some that's bidding, um, a few of them that I've won. We can go to my dashboard. Let's see. What are the ones? Let's go to my domain manager. So I own 48 domains right now. Okay. Oh, shit. I did not mean to click explore. But this is how you can use Handshake. All right. Real world use cases. Everyone's talking about SHIB. Everyone's talking about Luna. Everyone's talking about fucking bored apes and this and sh this and that and that and this. And like, I'm just like, yo, there are real 
projects out here with real fucking use cases like legitimate use cases that can enhance and change the fucking trajectory of some of a lot of things and nobody gives them the time and day people want to support all oh, what's new what's new what's new what's new why are you looking at all the fucking shiny syndrome the shiny toy syndrome whatever it's called all the new projects coming out why that that is not fucking um that's not a recipe for success i mean like all right can you make some money off of the volatility and the momentum of it for trading absolutely okay absolutely but you better be aware like you better be aware of that you better know that you're chasing momentum but at the same time when you're chasing momentum it, it fucks up developers yo it fucks with the heads with developers, especially the ones that's actually taking the time, working on something amazing, and they're not getting no fucking, they're not getting anything. You know, no support, no money into the project. They're working damn near for free. And then you got sh fucking all these other projects that's skyrocketing and getting billions of fucking dollars, multi-million dollars thrown at them. And people that are actually working on shit get nothing. It's not what this was created for, guys. Blockchain was not created for that. This was created for the people. Have you given up on the community already? Have you given up on the fucking people already? Everyone's asking for institutional fucking money. Oh, institution. Once they fucking get in, it's going to go to the moon. Friend, your friend, your friend. Yo, get the fuck out of here with that nonsense, yo. What the fuck? Why do you want institution money here so you can get fucking manipulated again and it can come in here, over fucking power everybody, and then your chances of leveling up is fucking out the window? Shit got me hot. I'm sorry, man. Shit got me hot. What the fuck? Bitcoin was created specifically to go against the capitalistic strategy that they fucking didn't. It ain't. They didn't break bread. They didn't do it the right way, like they said they would. This was opportunity for the people again. There was a time frame where you couldn't even get a fucking job when you had a master's degree. It wasn't that long ago. Focus. Focus. This is our time to shine. This is our time. The people. The community. The, the forgotten ones. This is your opportunity. Learn blockchain technology. Learn Web3. Learn decentralized applications. Learn about yield farming. Learn about uh, smart contracts. Learn about solidity. Learn about crypto mining. Learn about fucking Web3 enhancements. All right? BAAS blockchain as a service. It will happen. New jobs will be created in every single industry. Remember, technology is jealous of the human being. Technology does everything that it can. Social media does everything that it can. Instagram, smartphones, does everything that it can to keep you on the phone. Why? Because the phone can't go outside and throw a football. The phone can't go outside and play basketball. The phone can't go outside and play tag, fall down, scrape their knee, smell flowers, feel the energy of the sun. The phone can't do any of that. Technology can't do any of that. The metaverse can't do any of that. So they fucking confuse you to think that this shit's important when the real importance of our world, the real magic of our world is right outside the fucking window. Why have we 
not. Why are we putting everything else above the world's amazing best creation? The human brain and the human body and the human mind. The mo like literally. Have we all forgotten how powerful the human mind is at creating? Why have we stopped creating? Why are we arguing with each other? Why are we fighting with each other? Why are we killing each other? Why? Why do you think you have nothing to do? And it's got nothing to do with money. We all have something to do. We all have the ability to try to understand how we can increase our connection with the earth, with the planet, with nature, with the sun. Every other thing, all the animals, everything else lives in within the cycle. And humans used to live within the cycle too and then somewhere along the line we thought we were better than the cycle and that we didn't need to be in the cycle and the circle of life no longer needed the human race and ever since we've done that our planet's been dying people are confused and fighting and killing each other and it's just straight sad yo it's just sad. There's a shift happening in our world. Whether this was intentionally or not, it doesn't fucking matter. But there's a shift happening right now. And we have an opportunity to do things a little bit differently this time. Why are we wasting time fighting with each other? Fighting over past. Let's start focusing on the solution. Let's start focusing on the future. We got shit to prepare for. Every single one of us. Whether it's to get stronger, smarter, faster, healthier. Blockchain has connected the earth. We are now part of the global market and the global ecosystem. Your world has grown. Don't allow the tools that was created to enhance you. That ends up being the demise of you. I got a lot to work on myself. This is not just you. And I'm not talking about you. Everything that I'm saying in this video is really just a rant towards myself. I have a lot of work to do. I got a lot of things to, to get better at more prepared I don't want to be left behind anymore I'm tired of struggling I'm tired of having to always connive like how to pay for this or how to pay for that and how to be fucking El Cheapo and frugal and this and that and I'm tired of doing that shit I'm tired of all of that I would like abundance. 
You're goddamn right I do. And I don't have a problem saying that. And I will get it. And I'll make it happen. And when I get there, not only will I will bring up <clears throat> all of those that came and tried to help me, but I'll use that to then help others find a way, find their own path. Believe me or not, I really don't give a shit. All right, y'all. I don't know what this video was about. Clearly, I had a lot of things on my chest I needed to get out. And if you're still here, I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I got love for you. Keep grinding. Keep being you. Remember, don't let anybody, anybody take your light. Your light, your energy, your life force. Don't let anybody take your light. People, the devil, evil, will always try to take your light because they want that energy. Because they forgot how to make it themselves. So they go around to good people and they take their light. Defend your light with everything you got because that is your superpower. All right, y'all. I got love for y'all. Keep it going. Keep grinding. It's go time, grow time. Time to level up and enhance your future self. Don't forget to hit that like. Hit subscribe. If you resonated with this video, leave a comment below. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. And let's get to that bag. Peace.